Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful and fabulous day. I hope that the energy with the super full moon in Sagittarius has given you the energy to move forward from things that are no longer serving you and putting you in an energy to get ready to take some risks and be bold and be adventurous and just go for the things that you want to go for. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about candle magic. I'm actually going to be showing you how to dress your candles, the proper herbs to use in order to bring in certain things, and also how to make them your own. So I literally just finished making this manifestation candle, okay? So I'm just going to show you here. This is one of the candles that I made in the video that is going to follow this video as well. It's just going to be a quick tutorial on how to make your tapered manifestation candle. If you don't like using tapered candles, then I actually did a glass pillar candle as well. So you can watch that in my tutorial on how to make a glass pillared manifestation candle. So just a quick little origin when it comes down to candles and the magic surrounding the mystery of fire. So fire has always been revered as a very spiritual aspect okay when we're talking about the elements of the earth we're also talking about fire back in the ancient days people actually used to use fire in their meditations they actually would stare into a flame and would actually get spiritual messages some people would actually be able to astral project after they stared into a flame and got messages and even the smoke from the flame would give people some insight in regards to whatever mysteries they were trying to uncover. Flames have also been seen to light the way, to light the path in order for your journey to be fulfilled. It's also been used for cleansing and banishment and just removal of negative things. A lot of people at times would take whatever it is that they wanted to get rid of, either write it down on a piece of paper and burn it into the flame and let the flames just consume it. And in that way, they would take it as it being cleansed from their body in a spiritual manner. So using candle magic has literally become very, very popular throughout the years. A lot of people have learned how to make their own, including me, and hopefully after this video, including you. Now, different color candles represent different things. White candles, as I used in my manifestation candles, literally are for a universal use. You can literally use white candles for whatever it is that you're trying to call in for yourself. It has a universal use, okay? So if you're looking to manifest love, money, wealth, prosperity, success, whatever it is, you can use a white candle. Now, if you want to be more specific in regards to the things that you're manifesting, then you would use those specific colors that help to specify whatever it is that you're calling in for yourself. Red candles obviously represent love, lust, passion, and anything in regards to, you know, the connections of the heart. So if you're looking to call in some love for yourself, or if you're looking to maintain a relationship, if you're looking to do any type of love spells or love magic, you would use a red candle. Blue candles are good for purification. They're also good for manifestation as well. So you would use blue if you're looking to purify or just be specific in whatever it is that you're trying to manifest for yourself. They're also good for third eye chakras and throat chakras. So you can use blue for that as well. Green candles obviously represent money, wealth, prosperity in your finances, an abundance in your finances, anything when it comes down to money. The way that I adjust my candle, I use specific herbs for whatever it is that I was calling in and manifesting. So with that candle that I was doing, I was just doing pretty much an overall manifestation candle. Wealth, prosperity, success, happiness, peace, joy, and all of that. So there are hundreds of herbs that you can dress your candle with. So I'm going to show you the herbs that I used on my manifestation candle. So first things first, I used some chamomile flowers, okay? So chamomile is good for love, it's good for purification, it's good for banishment, it's good for protection. It's also good for prosperity, healing, peace, bringing calmness into your life and just helping you to just relax and let go and not to stress about the small things. Next, I used some dandelion leaf, which is good for psychic abilities. It's good for divination. It's good for good luck. It's good for prosperity. It's also good for dream magic and also spiritual work. So if you're looking to get some messages from your dreams, then dandelion leaf, dandelion root, anything dandelion is good for you to use. Next, I also added in some elderflower. 
elderflower is good for protection it's good for rebirth it's also good for ending so if you need to put an ending to a cycle that's no longer working for you then elderflower is definitely good to have on hand it's also good for grounding it's good for joy it's good for resting your mind resting your body and just getting an overall calmness and stillness and in folklore it's actually very good if you want to connect with fairies Next, I added in some lavender flower, okay, which is really good for relaxation. It's good for sleep magic as well, so dream magic, more messages in your dreams. It's very good for psychic abilities, happiness, healing, love, wealth. It's just an overall good herb to have in your repertoire. Then I added in some lemongrass, which is really good for psychic abilities, protection, relaxation, healing, lust, and growth. So if you're looking to grow spiritually, if you're looking to ascend, then it'd be really good to use some lemongrass or have some lemongrass on hand. Lastly, I use some thyme, okay? Don't mind the little baggie that I put it in because the other baggie that it's in, it ripped when I opened it. So I had to put it in my zip lock. Time is very good for manifestation. It's good for attraction. It's also good for multiplying, okay? It puts extra emphasis on whatever it is that you're using it for. So in this case, you're using it for candle magic. It's going to give that candle an extra boost of spiritual energy to call in those things that you have wrapped around, whatever it is that you're putting into your candle. It's very good for love magic. It's also used in glamours as well. So if you need an extra boost of confidence or something just to make you feel good or to make you look more appealing, time is literally one of the best things to have in your cabinet. Now those are just some of the herbs that I use when I'm doing candle magic and those are the herbs that I used in the candles that I showed you guys. There are hundreds of herbs that you can use that represent whatever it is that you're looking to call in for yourself. So don't feel like you have to be limited to just the ones that I showed you. Do your research and also, you know, just see what it is that works best for you. Another way to dress your candles is to use oils and also other colored candle waxes, okay? The best oils to use when you're using candle magic are like orange, clary sage, bergamot lemon lime you can also use mint do whatever it is that you find necessary for what it is that you're trying to call in for yourself for the candles that i made i used a beautiful citrus blend that i found at tj maxx you can buy essential oils from tj maxx marshall's whole whole foods home goods wherever it is that you shop where they have like homey things okay so you know you can find them anywhere pretty much the dollar store as well and this mix that I have literally has orange, bergamot, lemon, lime, all of those in there that just help to just bring in all of those good feelings. And you light it, it just lights up the room. The scent is just strong and powerful, but it's also calming and peaceful. It's just literally the best oil that I use on my candles. I love this. And to add extra color to my candles to represent whatever it is that I'm calling in, I like to use birthday candles, okay? Don't judge me and don't mind me. Birthday candles already have the reputation of being celebratory, okay? So you're using them for a happy purpose. So I just like to use birthday candles. I go and I just buy them and then, you know, they all have, they come in different colors. So different colors obviously represent different things as we were saying before. So I just like to use the birthday candles. They're small enough to where I can hold it and let the wax drip onto the candles that I'm using and they just work fine with me. You can use whatever type of color candles that you find and whatever ones work best for you or speak best to your spirit. So obviously, no need to say when using candles or doing candle magic, you wanna make sure you're placing your candle in a safe place in your home, especially if you're the type of person to let your candles burn for however many days or however long it takes for your candle to burn completely out. If you do that, then I suggest, you know, putting your candle in a meditative place, in a sacred place, in a place where a lot of people aren't walking or if you have children where your children can't get to it or your pets can't get to it. Obviously, we're dealing with fire and fire is very destructive as it is very cleansing and powerful. 
So we want to make sure that we do this the safe way, okay? If you're using a taper candle here, I would suggest getting like a little candle holder to where it just holds the candle and you don't have to really worry about it, you know, just falling over anywhere. I wouldn't stand the candle up, even though it has a flat bottom. I wouldn't stand the candle up on like a glass surface or anything like that and just let it melt. I mean, you do what it is that you want to do, but for safety purposes, I'm just going to mention the proper way to make sure you don't burn anything or that anyone doesn't get hurt. Now, when you're using your candles, I suggest maybe doing a very strong prayer and meditation as the candles are burning. You can be in the same room as your candle, which is highly recommended so that you can just feel the energy of that candle as it's burning, doing your meditation, doing your affirmations, doing your prayers, whatever it is that you do to help give your spirit that extra boost that it needs in order to call in and bring in those things that you're calling in for yourself. It's important to also be in a space where you don't have any interruptions, okay? So just be in a space where it's just you, your higher self, your higher power, your higher source, and where you're just able to just connect fully. So if you're interested in watching this video and learning how to do candle magic, then continue watching. All right, so I sped everything up because I pretty much explained the process in the previous video. So here's my bland tapered candle and my bland pillar candle. What I like to do is I like to sage my candles just to cleanse them spiritually and energetically because I just got them from the store. People could be touching them. You never know what kind of energies could have been all over the candle. So next, I have my water and I have my fire. I like to keep water and fire around when I'm doing candle magic just to bring the spiritual energy in stronger okay water is definitely good for spiritual energy so now i'm adding in my oils okay my citrus blend oil i'm adding that on my taper candle and on the pillar candle there are the herbs that i mentioned so i'm just going to start to take those herbs and i'm going to sprinkle them all over my candles and as i'm sprinkling them i'm saying my affirmations i'm calling in success i'm calling in abundance i'm calling in prosperity discipline whatever it is that you want to do for yourself it's just a good time for you to meditate and just be very in tune with your higher self and your spiritual self. So I'm also adding that to my pillar candle, being sure not to add the herbs too close to the wick because we don't want the herbs to burn immediately as soon as we light the candle. If they're too close to the wick, then the, those herbs will catch fire. Not saying it'll be a big explosive fire, but it'll be a bigger fire than what's on the wick. So here are my celebratory candles, my birthday candles that I'm going to light. And I'm gonna allow the wax to drip onto my candles just for added color and added decoration. So I'm just adding in my decorative colors just to make it more festive, blue for manifestation, green for money, and the wax ultimately helps to hold the herbs into place as well. So once that's done, I just let it sit for a second and just let it just soak in all the energies and you know, maybe I'll do a prayer, I'll hold it, do a prayer with it and just do some affirmations with it and just get ready to use it spiritually and energetically okay so that's pretty much how you dress your candles and how you do your candles for candle magic now you can add in any other decorative colors or glitters or anything that you want to add to make it more fitting for you and to also make it more personal to your energy okay just as long as it's something that you find appealing and attractive and something that gives you peace and happiness and joy when you're lighting it so i hope this video was helpful go ahead and like this video if it was and subscribe to my channel i will see you all in the next video take care